kind of guy. Okay, um, so we're building on, we're building on techniques that we've looked at previously. What we're doing is we're looking at our unit circle, we're looking at the angle pi on four, and we're going, what's the sine value? What's the cos value? And then what's the corresponding tan value? So pull your unit circle out. Let's get competent at using it. We're looking at the angle pi on four. So follow along here, Sophie, Jenna, make sure you're following along. Always refer to your unit circle. Who's going to be first to tell me? No, you've got a good copy because you drew it yourself. No, mine's a bit wrong. It shouldn't be wrong. No, it is. Wait, what are we looking at? Pi on four. Angle pi on four. It is 45 degrees. What's the value of the y coordinate? Square root of 2 over 2. Excellent, root 2 on 2. And then same. And the x coordinate is the same. It's 45 degrees, so we've also got root 2 on 2. How about tan? Remember, tan is sine divided by cos. Okay, so that's going to be root 2 on 2 on top of root 2 on 2. What is it, Pat? Y. Yeah, you're correct. You're obviously correct. Why? Yeah, yeah, we could. That'd be an extensive way of doing it, and we would get we would get the right answer. What's a simpler way? We got the same thing at the top as we do at the bottom, so they're just going to cancel. We're left with the number one. Okay. How about minus sixty degrees? What does that mean? Okay, so that means we've got our unit circle here and we're going back this way, 60 degrees. That's going to correspond with the angle 300 degrees. Okay, so, so minus 60 actually corresponds with 300 degrees. Yeah, if we go back 60 degrees. So we're looking on our unit circle at the angle 300 degrees. What's there? Minus 33. Minus root 3 on 2 for the y value and positive part for the x value. And then for tan, now we're going to have to do our AD on BC. We've got minus and, okay, 2 on top of 1 on 2. Alright, now one of them is negative and you might go, well, which, which does the negative apply to? Does it apply to the top or the bottom? It doesn't matter. Okay, it does not matter which one you apply it to because it's all going to come out in the wash, but you definitely do not apply it to both of them. Okay, that negative only belongs to one number. Um, so let's do our AD on BC. We've got negative 2 root 3 on 2. 2 will cancel, and we're left with negative root 3 for 10. Alright, so you're going to be filling in a few more of those tables. Alright, then what you'll be doing is again, we're looking at our unit circle. And we're going sine of 60. So let's have a look at that. What's the value of sine of 60? The y value of 60 degrees. Root 3 on 2. Okay, so we're going to substitute that there. And what we have is sine 60 times cos 30. So we've got root 3 on 2 times. Well, what's the, what's the x value of 30 degrees? The same root 3 on 2. Okay, so you're just looking at your unit circle and you see I substituted its magnitude there and I substituted the magnitude for cos 30 there, that's what it's equal to and then we're going to evaluate that. Root 3 times root 3, that's going to be 3 and 2 times 2, that's 4. Alright, when we're multiplying fractions it's just top times the top and bottom times the bottom. Okay, and of course if you had your calculator 7 degrees and you put this in your calculator Sine 60 times cos 10, it's going to give you the same answer that we've generated here. Okay, let's jump ahead to this one. We've got 3 sine squared of pi on 4. So what we've got is we've got 3 times the sine value of pi on 4. What's the sine value of pi on 4? Let's have a look there. Root 2 on 2, everyone see that? Or, or you might have 1 on root 2. Remember they're the same way of writing it. Does everyone see that on their unit circle? We're using our unit circle. I want you to follow along the unit circle. Yep, make sure you're nodding. Good. Okay, so it's 3 sine of pi on 4 squared. All right, that part's squared. And then we have take away 2, now cos pi. So look on your unit circle. Pi 
the x value at pi minus 1. Okay, so I've just substituted. All I'm doing is going through cos of pi is minus 1. Alright, sine of pi on 4 is root 2 on 2, and we've got that squared. And now we're going to evaluate this. This is a bit more extensive than the ones we've than the one we did previously. Bed maths, what comes first? Do I square it or times it? It does. Square it first. Yeah, brackets, exponents, division and multiplication. So we've got to square it first. So let's leave that three there. And we're going to square both the top and the bottom. Okay, so root two squared will be two. And the bottom squared, two squared will be four. And then we've got this. Minus two times minus one, that's going to be plus two. And so we've got six on four plus two. All right. Um, again, if you're not confident with your fractions, you can put it in, in your calculator, but I want you to develop these fraction skills. We need to express that with the same denominator. So we're going to have 6 on 4 plus 8 on 4. We will get uh, 14 on 4. And that simplifies to be 7 on 2. Okay? But get good at these skills. Um, but if you put that in your calculator, you get the same answer. And again, if you put this in your calculator at the start, you'd get the same answer down here as well. Okay, but we're looking at doing that process manually using our unit circle. Okay, does that make sense? All right. Let's jump across to here. Because then we're doing the opposite. Rather than getting the magnitude from the angle, we're finding the angle given the magnitude, okay? So you look at your unit circle and you're going, where is the y value, sine is the y value, where is the y value, positive half? What's the values of the angle? And we're asked for it in radians, okay? Because we're giving the constraint in terms of radians. So let's look at our unit circle. Where's the y value half? Tell me the angles in radians. Pi over six, yep, yeah, or one on six pi, and? Five pi on six. Five, what do we read? Okay, on our unit circle, I said find me a y value that's equal to half. Yeah, everyone see that? Pi on six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, unit circle wrong, okay. And then um, where it's also equal to half, because there's two values where it's equal to half, let's think about that. On our unit circle, y being half, it's going to be this angle and this angle, okay? So we've got our pi on 6 and our other angle, 5 pi on 6, okay? That's, that's how you answer it. That's the answer, okay? We're just saying an angle. All right? Let's look at the next one then. <laughs> 0 to 360. Um, and so we're looking at degrees this time. We're saying what's the answer in degrees? We've got x equals minus 1. Where is the x value equal to minus 1? What's the angle? 180. 180 degrees. Excellent. Okay, so just make sure you're looking at your unit circle. All right, let's explain that one. Here's our unit circle. Here's where the x value is minus 1. What's that angle? That's 180 degrees. Okay. Oh, a few confused faces, but let's uh, get into it and ask me questions as we're going along.